All right, we're learning right now that authorities are hunting for a U-Haul truck in connection with this uh, New York City uh, subway attack today uh, that has left at least 28 injured. All, again, are expected to survive, so it could have been a heck of a lot worse. Uh, Howard Safer is with us, the former uh, New York Police Department commissioner. Commissioner, uh, very good to have you. Thank you for taking the time. Um, he got away. It, 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 it's very easy to see how he could get away. If there's smoke and mayhem, he just walks out with all of those trying to get out. But um, what do you make of whether he could have had an accomplice? Well, I'm, it sounds like he pretty well did have an accomplice. It sounds like somebody was waiting to take him away. Of course, I don't know that, but I believe it. But we're just very lucky that these shootings did not result in deaths. You know, I've always said that a shooting is a homicide with bad aim. And fortunately, it appears that all of these people are going to survive. But, you know, it's not surprising. We live in a climate now where criminals feel they can do whatever they want. You know, once again, if you think about it, Commissioner, I think last time we had talked, there was a, a time of a, a subway attack. A woman had been pushed onto the tracks. It occurred 48 hours after uh, someone else was assaulted in a train station and raped. Um, but that, there, there is a, a weird kind of a fixation with, with subway stations, trains, that sort of thing. Um, and if you think about it, dates even way back in Japan to the sarin gas attack uh, in Tokyo. What is it about this? Is this an area where we're not, you know, policing it enough? Or how would you explain what's going on? Well, it's, it's a soft target. Yeah. Uh, Millions of people ride the subway. You can become an anonymous very easily. Uh, there are not enough police in the subway, even though Mayor Adams is trying to augment that. You can't be everywhere. But the other part is it's the climate, Neil. It's, it's about the bail reform. It's, a, it's about the demonizing police. And it's about trying to fix seven years of de Blasio being soft on crime. You know, Adams is trying to do what he can, but it's going to take a while. I wonder, too, um, you know, you're good at offering people advice. I mean, you famously said, if you see something, say something. For all I know, you, you invented that. Uh, but I, I, I am wondering if, you, you know, that, that's a vulnerable position to be in. If you're in a subway car, you know, a crazy guy comes in, does what he does. Um, what do you recommend people do? How do they, what do they look for? What do they do? Uh, what, 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 what do they want to safeguard themselves? Well, they have to look for people who look, for instance, somebody wearing a tremendous amount of clothes that he shouldn't relative to the temperature. They should be looking for people who now, of course, everybody's wearing masks, uh, right. people who are uh, just acting out of the ordinary. But they should get down really low if something begins and get to the doors as quickly as possible. But, you know, the fact is this is not the first time when I was commissioner. Uh, we arrested three Palestinian kids who had real bombs and were going to go blow up the subway in Brooklyn. And fortunately, we got there before they. I remember uh, that. That was in 99. Yeah. So, you know, uh, subways are always going to be a target, but you know, we, we have to go back to arresting turnstile jumpers. We have to get more of these uh, anti gun units on the street, and we have to stop putting people in jail rather than saying that, gee, we're sorry you committed this crime. Don't do it again. You can go back right back out on the street. We have to change the whole mentality. There has to be a belief among criminals that if they commit a crime, not only are they going to get arrested, they're going to end up in jail. There's a concept. Um, Commissioner, thank you very, very much. Howard Safer on those developments here. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.